Hello and welcome to another video. I'm Nugget. So I've been working on this game recently, it's called Cape Soul, and I've been using Unity forever. <laughs> and there's just so much of stuff that I want to add to the game that I just can't figure out how to do in Unity. I know this is like my personal opinion. Um, Unity is just great and you can just do so much with it but I'm just a big idiot and I don't know what I'm doing with Unity and it was just if I were to do something on my own I just sit there and look at the screen and just don't know what to do so that's the only reason I'm planning on switching to Godot. I'm not abandoning Cape Soul by any means, I really want to work on it in Unity as well. I just won't be visiting that project as much. I wasn't sure if switching to Godot was a good idea because I've been working with Unity for months and I have a lot of, I had more experience with Unity, but switching to Godot even temporarily was the best thing I've ever done. I was having a blast working on this new project and it was so fun. I also wanted to work on a completely new project instead of porting Cape Soul back into Godot. So, um, my friend Rex gave me this idea of making a horror ambient type of game. Um, <laughs> it's a pretty good idea in my opinion, and I straight up got to work. I thought I wanted to have a really simple texturing or style for this game. I made everything almost one bit, it's not restricted though, I'm using multiple colors, but most of it is one bit patterns, and I actually really like it, it's so, like, it's retro and it's really cool. So I'm gonna take you to, through the journey of how I actually got to this point where I have a working game and it's doing pretty good. Godot wasn't the most beginner friendly program either. It's definitely equaling with Unity in terms of difficulty. Um, it's Definitely, in Godot, most of, literally everything is called a node, and there's nodes upon nodes upon nodes, and it can be really confusing at some times, so that was one roadblock. The next one, which isn't actually a big issue, was the language. Godot uses this programming language called GDScript, and it's more like a modified version of Python. So, if I were to switch to Godot, I'll have to learn GDScript, an entire new language, which was scary. It was really scary. I, I, I questioned it, but then, again, I had a blast working with GDScript. Now I know that Godot has an option where you can actually work with C-sharp, but I went for the gyms, and most of the tutorials were in GDScript as well, so GDScript is actually really simple, the syntax is really nice as well. It's really simple and not oversimplified like C-sharp, so it made programming really easy and I can literally do things on my own and not yelling code 24-7. I was actually feeling accomplished making my own code instead of just yelling it from the internet. It, w it felt nice. <laughs> I gotta say, figuring out the tile map was a bit annoying but it actually ended up being extremely simple and I was just being dumb. <laughs> So getting the lighting done was actually really simple. The player movement was surprisingly really simple to set up. It was, yeah, pretty easy. The basic concept of the game is you're a man or some, uh, 
Okay, I haven't thought much about it, but we got the more the core mechanics then. You're a man and you're walking to a dark area filled with darkness and your boys to survive or something like that.